How's it going everybody? Today I'll be showing you how to do a uh, firmware version upgrade on our EX2200 switches. So first thing you want to do is hook up your console in the back. Then uh, you want to plug in one of the ports to your laptop. And then what you can do is throw a config on the switch to basically allow you to be able to ping it. So there's a number of ways you can do that. Um, this is my config. There's different configs and there's also different methods for you to be able to um, ping your switch. The upgrade will, will be an FTP upgrade so you'll need pingability. So I've basically put a name on it and allowed admin and root um, authentication passwords. You also have to set your um, system service FTP to be enabled with that command. Then you just need to make a VLAN and an IP on it. And then you should be able to ping your switch. And I have dot two on this laptop, dot one is on the switch. And then you want an FTP uh, client, and I'm using uh, FileZilla. And then what you want to do is navigate to var temp. So if you go to var TMP. Now you're in var temp, and then what you can do is take your um, on the, and then on this side navigate to where your file is that you're going to be moving. So it's here, and I'm just going to throw it in to the folder, and I'll let that upload. And once that uploads, I will be back. Uh, with the next step. Alright, once the file has uploaded you will see it in the var temp folder and there it is. This is 12.2. Uh, then you want to go back into your uh, putty and uh, then the last part will be a command input. So first uh, just to show you that uh, what firmware we're running So we're at 11.4 right now. Then you want to do this command. Okay, so you want to do request system software add slash var slash temp and then you just put in the first letter of your file and hit tab. That'll fill it all in. And then you want to go no dash validate. Okay, and then you hit enter on that. And it will basically think about that for a minute or so, and um, it'll it'll say that you need to do a reboot, and uh, and then you will need to do that. So there it is. A reboot is required to install the software. So all we need to do is request system reboot. Enter. Yes, we do. <clears throat> so this process is about uh, six and a half minutes. What it'll do is, um, right now it's shutting down, then it'll power back up. 
and then as it's powering back up, <clears throat> it'll un, um, unzip that file and install it. And once it's installed, it'll do another reboot. And, um, and that way, uh, once it comes back up, we should be able to see the new um, uh, firmware version. So there, it's installing the 12.2. And this goes on for a little while, so I will uh, pause the video and I'll come back when uh, when it's good. Okay, so the unit is now rebooting. I don't know if you saw that. It was uh, about 6 minutes and 20 seconds or so uptime. That's how long it took um, to add and open the file and basically install. So this is just a regular boot now with the new version. And there it is, 12.2. Okay, once it's booted up, let's put in our username and password, and there it is, Juno is 12.2. Alright, thanks everybody uh, for watching, that's it for my time, thank you for yours, see you on the next time.